Drinking buddies. I brought Marco on. I got Brooks on. We're going to do Beat the Pappy 2.0. Uh, really excited for this one. I say we kind of dive right in. Sorry, I was not filled in on this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't know what we were drinking? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're beating the Pappy. We got Pappy 15 somewhere in here. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I have one sample in here. So I know what one of them is. Okay. And you have the other three. Since I created the blind, I yeah. get to choose the rule around here. Oh. oh, okay. What are the rules? <laughs> well, no, just the ones I got to pick out. <laughs> okay. Wow. okay. Good deal. So, that, yeah, and I don't know anything. I'm completely blind. That's All, the right. Part. All right. All right. Your drinking buddy. <sighs> well, uh, we'll start on this end. This right. end? Let's do it. On the right. Sure. Cheers, Cheers buddies. Ooh. I just talked about Coca-Cola syrup with another one. Now, we don't know what we got, right? Like this, We all have this, the same thing. We right all now. got the same in the yeah. same glasses? Okay, cool. This is very brown sugar heavy. Coca-Cola to me, I do have, I just, I see the brown sugar. I'm just going to leave you guys to say the notes. No, right? no, no you're good, dude. You got, you got good notes. Still, come on. You got, you got good notes. I don't want to say too much because I, I chose, you know, three of the other ones that you mm -hmm. guys don't know, so. Oh, cinnamon. Uh oh. So good, cinnamon, cola. I get that 107 proof. You got the 107 proof in here? I think so. Ah. Oh. I think so, damn it. Hmm. Uh, so I take like, two big sips. See, look, I'm already down to. This is warming my soul. So that is. Um, so my heart is happy. That is, that is really, really good. I'm not trying to write. I, I got a, well, I got a little bit of a, I got a little bit of a fruity thing, but I wouldn't call it cherry. And I know Pappy 15 has got cherry. I get cherry on this bad boy. It's uh, tastes like a buffalo trace powder. It yeah, does. That proof just warmed me down like if it was a pretty cold winter summer day in Arizona. Winter summer day. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same here in, in Tucson. Yeah. That, it's a t -shirt. I, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of at a loss for words, but that's going to be hard to beat, whatever it is. That's really tasty. That is beautiful. I feel like we're going to say that for every glass. It's possible. We I'm going to save that one. It's gonna, it's gonna, like, yeah, save it. I need to get back to... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm not glass coming up with like two. a... Yeah, glass two. Brooks, are we allowed to know how many BT products you got in this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, I will probably share with the audience what, what everyone's drinking, except for I'm gonna save mine for the, for the end. You're saying this smells just. This one almost smelled like a stag to me, like a stag junior of some sort. And the nose, just the nose. This one's definitely got like that damp, damp, uh, like yeah. musty quality to it that I often get off a of stag. It's like uh, damp wood. Oh, but this is way low proof for a stag. So good too. This was actually a lower proof than the first one. Mm -hmm. You think this is lower proof than the first one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think so too. It's very soft. Yeah. Not in a bad. Got way. a little bit of an ethanol on the finish though. Yeah, because it's not. These are all bourbons, right? There's no rice. No, no rice. Okay. All bourbons. Yeah, that's. I got a little mint finish on this one. That's got more cherry on it than the first one to me. That's this cherry. Is not a peppy, though. No, I, I don't know what it is, but that's cherry. That's just, it's got a really unique finish. Great mouthfeel. It's like syrupy, and I'm like, I'm not even drinking something alcoholic. And then I swallow, and it gives me that heat yeah. off the off the finish. Yeah, it has amazing. like a dusty chocolate. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, you're, you're, I, I was gonna say to me like the on the kind of tip of your tongue. It's mm -hmm. it, it feels a little bit lighter than just the first one. That was my uh, yeah, it observation. Does. Yeah, it is. It's actually softer. Yeah, softer. Mm -hmm. That's a good word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like a dusty chocolate freaking. But similar, similar kind of uh, trend. Trans similar flavor profile. Yeah, like yeah, like that cherry finishes there. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely does. Definitely phenomenal chocolate too. That's, <laughs> these are all going to be. Phenomenal. These are all going to be phenomenal. I'm wondering if this is a Russell's of some mm. sort or wild turkey. Russell's that sort. that could really be. I um. If I was trying to, if I was trying to make a bottle guess already, I might say that Wild Turkey Masters Keep Seventeen mm. bottle of the bond. That is that is my guess after <laughs> dusty 
truffle with cherry. But it's bad. Yeah. Now this is this is a nose. This is a what the what is this? <laughs> That's a nose. What's in here? This is like perfumey. This is well, it's this is definitely different from any other bourbon I've ever known. This has to be Josh's dark horse here, probably. Cinnamon. This tastes like this smells like straight syrup, dude. Syrupy. It is syrupy. It's, it's definitely like, syrupy. Cinnamon syrup, like so, like have you ever made old fashions with yes. cinnamon syrup? Mm -hmm. Like a liqueur almost. It's almost like, like a, a gingerbread liqueur. cookie. <laughs> gingerbread, totally. Yeah. Ew. I hate you guys. Because I don't know what I'm drinking and I want to know so damn bad. This is I good. like that. I like it. It's, it feels a little uh, like, like the last one. Like lower, not low proof, but you know, mm -hmm. within that range, you know, the yeah, 107 to 114 range. Yes. Yeah. So I noticed that, um, you know, mine was very dark in color, but so was this one. So that wasn't necessarily mine. Um, and, but whatever it was, it's old. It's it's yeah. old. It's okay, got. This goes back to leather shoes. And this right here gives me a little bit of a minty type of taste. Trip, cool it. Sorry. Anything so here, my chihuahua's over here whining. Yeah, this is what's supposed to do. This, 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 the nose is almost like you infused it or like, you know, you added a, a spiral or something. Maybe. Yeah. Some, this is, some, this is a, not, a, it almost smells like too, too sweet, you know, and the first, the first two, the first two were sweet too, you know, like more, but more classic, you know, bourbon notes. Toasted dessert. barrel type situation where you're finishing it in a toaster. The thing that gets me is that Brooks thinks this is yours. So, I don't means, know. It, I, <laughs> I don't know. I can tell I just, you, it's syrupy. It's I know good, what I put. I, I know what I put in. So uh, it's not I, Nob eighteen. Nob eighteen has more of a cherry type of flavor. With everything changes. I was morning. thinking of maybe like it does. It, it sucks because you you know what you poured. Yeah. But because we're doing them blind, you yeah. don't know what you're drinking, I and know. it's like a I know. Blind. You think you know, and then you're like, oh, maybe don't last. Yeah. I gotta say, I definitely really like whatever this is. I do too. I do too. I mean, the the mouthfeel. And taste isn't too sweet. It is sweet, but it's not like overwhelmingly like sweet, where it's like a, kind of like a turn off. Yeah. The, the nose is like almost too sweet, but like the palate is nice. Yes. You know, it's Definitely. strong enough. It has enough bite and spice where it like balances. And it's got so much of that musty like like old books or like yeah. leather on the nose. And it translates into something that's not overall it's like an old nice. book that got a little bit wet with the leather back. <laughs> That's what that thing is. It's like some yeah. old stored wizard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and you drink wizard. it in wet foot. You drink yes. it, it gives you magic. <laughs> I think I know what this is off the nose. What? I think I found I the happy water. right here. I think this is happy. My tongue's a little numb from the mint and the last one. I, I, I might be crazy here. I might be totally off, but I feel like I smell a Buffalo Trace nose here. Definitely. Tons of cherry. Definitely. I've been waiting for that this cherry. This is cherry, cherry, orange peel, a little bit of cinnamon. Bourbon vanilla. Uh, you smell the age. Damn it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Mm. That's sweeter than the last one. <laughs> That's that cherry though. There's cherry. There's that Luden's. Yep. They're all so good. They and all they cherry also candy, like, like a little bit of a like a red licorice thing. Damn it! Now this is making me conflicted with the first one. With the first one, I think this is happy. But the first one, I feel like in my mind, still kind of hangs in there. It's like it does it, to it, me. It, but now this one, this that's what makes me think this is the happy. The first one because the first one this could be a Ross. I'm telling you right now, if you've never had anything Van um, Winkle or Pappy, the lingering finish that goes on with them, they take. I drove home the first time after I tasted the Pappy, and it's like, I got like a 35 minute drive. I, I tasted it still. I didn't even drink any water. My, I was like cotton mouth. I was like, I gotta keep this flavor in my mouth. I'm not eating anything. I'm not tasting, I'm not drinking anything. Uh-uh. I went to bed <laughs> cotton mouth. <laughs> that thing, well, I woke you up. Didn't, you didn't want to eat or drink anything. You wanted that no. to linger. Yes. So you woke up. I was like, I woke up. I was like, oh, I still taste it. This is, this is hard. I don't have a favorite so far, but it might be this one. I gotta say, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. 
<clears throat> but I almost taste the proof on this one more than I do on this one, so I'm I might stick with this one. This is this is like this tastes light. This one has a great like mouthfeel. It doesn't like on the tip of the tongue. It doesn't have that like like what was your descriptor for it? Like a, so like a softer tone? a softer tone or like yeah. more like not watered down. Yeah, like, like I would guess this like, is, like a brightness to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would guess this is between ninety and a hundred proof. Yeah, but the little heat at the end as it finishes off kind of makes you wonder if it's a little bit higher than 100 proof. <sighs> that tastes like a freaking BT product, man. I mean, <laughs> or 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 a Russell's Reserve single barrel, which also tastes like you guys want drinks. this to be a Russell's and wild turkey so bad. Hey, you know what? Uh, the, the, I have two favorite distilleries. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 Buffalo Trace and and Russell's, uh, and yeah. Russell's Wild Turkey and and Makers is not Makers too far. Is one of my Makers is not too far behind behind. I love two. Makers, but I yeah, have I a love soft Makers. No. Yeah. Makers is the bourbon that actually made me really, same really leap into drinking whiskeys. Right? Really? Yeah, especially in 2010 when they released the 46. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just picked up that 46 Special Reserve. The, the, the cask strength? Yeah. yeah. So good. That's really good. Uh, what got me into was Old Carter. I just went straight to the top. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> went right to the top. It yeah. took a lot. Like, I, I always had, you know, kind of bottom shelf stuff. Yeah. And then once I had that, it was like such a game changer. And that was the batch five that I put in the last blind that I picked first. And you picked second. You picked yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my, I didn't know bourbon. It tastes so, like this. Usually yeah, I got, it was just like you always had to add Coke or, you know, when I was younger. Yeah. I'm kind of the same way. I got into cars because of Lamborghinis and just drove them and decided they were the best. Uh, <laughs> no, just. <laughs> like pushing them with your fingers isn't driving. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's about I it. I did that as a kid too. Lamborghini Diablo was my first time. I'd get, I'd get cherry cough syrup on the nose. Mm -hmm. all, all these this noses this are just is, phenomenal. This, this, is, this is a nose right here. I, I think I know what this is. I, I need to I'm not going to tell you. But I'm not moving on from here for a while. I need to live here in this nose for a bit. Every time this I go in, I get the some, strongest nose. This is like desert honey, <laughs> cherry cough syrup. Yep. And mm. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know which is the one to choose, but they're all good. I choose this. <laughs> they're, they're all first last. <laughs> Okay. Wow, dude. The finish on that wow. is insane, dude. Okay. Wow. The finish is so crazy. Like, it's so I sweet. I think we found the Pappy. I think I know what this is. Pappy. This is not Pappy. This isn't Pappy. No. I don't, I don't remember so. which one I said was. Oh, yeah, no, this the is The reason the why I'm saying that is because of that flavor. Of... The proof was too high, though. Okay, wait a minute. This is over this 107. Last... This is over 110. Dude, I'm just saying, like, no, it doesn't have the orange peel though. It's just straight cherry and oak. Could this be WLW? No. I'm looking at him to see if he, he makes any. Uh... <laughs> you just spit out all these bottles like yeah. Russell's Wild Turkey. You didn't put Bob 18 in here, right? I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, what the bottle I put in here, I know neither of you have ever tasted. Dude, that is so good. And it's not this. The finish is just insane, dude. <laughs> it's not this. Oh, it's not that? It's okay, not I thought it was like a blend. It's not that. Is it it's a, a different blend. blend. It's a different blend. I said his was. It might be a blend. It might be a bottle, but you just haven't had. He's a blender, blend. dude. I know. I know. He's is. always trying to create the best, the next That's happy nice. blending. Okay. This the proof just extends that finish. I feel like this. To me, this is. Yeah, that a higher proof, but it doesn't. It's still a smooth drinking. Bourbon, but it just the the, the finish is just so nice. I literally me. think this is WLW. I'm not kidding. I do. I don't think it's that high proof though. I don't think this is at 126. That's the thing. To me, the, uh, it's a little softer than that. Well, we better go back through again and see what we think, see if we change our minds at all, and uh, we'll probably either fast forward through this part or. Have to go through it. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. we'll, we'll we just pour. Go get, go get more. Run, yeah, run, run, back to, to back run back to run back home and get more. <laughs> Just drink out the bottles. One of the coolest things about this, uh, doing this with you, is the fact that uh, I probably will never land a Pappy 15, 
but I feel like I own a share of your Pappy 15. <laughs> you you, you keep sharing it with me. I love so. to share. That's the best part about bourbon. You it is. The bourbon community yeah. is sharing with other people. Like, yeah. I don't like drinking stuff like that by myself because it is so nice. And to share with someone that um, appreciates bourbon and the craft is... It's just, that's what it's all about. And I think that's what's great about um, the bourbon community and everyone's most nice to share. I just love that people. you appreciate this stuff, dude. It's like... <laughs> One of the cool things that I kept running into when people would say that they saw the video last time we were here was they would like, oh, how long have you guys known each other? And I'm like, oh, we met that, like five minutes before I pushed record. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like, what? You guys haven't known each other for years? And I think that was really cool. We, you know, like we, we yeah, like instantly created a bond. Yeah. And, and instantly created a bond over over that and bourbon. Yeah, you know, so I like, mean, and, you know, I love supporting, you know, uh, my Tucson guys. And, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Tucson. And, uh, you know, I came across this channel and, you know, the algorithm sent me your your stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, OK, this guy's from Tucson, instant subscribe, you know. And, you know, you start pushing out some good content and uh, kept uh, you interested. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, you know, I need to connect with this guy. So. And then that's how you know we all met yeah. Nana's and had the best uh, Mexican oh, meal of my life. Man. So that that was uh, I'm I'm always gonna stop there on my way to town. Thanks, so <laughs> I I literally say in a in a town where Mexican food is good on every corner, they have the best. Right. So, so. Crazy so, right 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 so. and some good bourbon. Not so. just bourbon. Amber, yeah, and tequila. tequila. Yeah, tequila, I'm telling you. Gin, rum, everything. Yeah. All right, well, I think we're back here. We've kind of deliberated a little bit. Yeah. Um, Marco's nursing on these, so we're going to get him a nipple um, for each class so he can I finish them. Should have been. Um, <laughs> and uh, we will, um, you know, kind of, I think you kind of probably need to just say which one's our favorites sure. and uh, uh, try to maybe, maybe make some guesses. Uh -huh. um, I think I'm going with number four as my favorite. Same. Um, and it's, it's really tough between... Uh, three, four, and one. Those were the ones so, that they are all delicious. I, I I can't say we can mark these necessarily down as like best to worst. Yeah, it's I don't just, think I could either. It's literally best to even better. Yeah, like it's it's crazy because they are all legitimately really good. There's no negative feedback off of any one. Yeah, of yeah. I think the worst all. one here, I would still call like a phenomenal. Kid. I wouldn't call it a worst one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you uh, you'd have to pick a worst if you had to pick a worst. Okay, I would, I would just, say I that would that. Say I would say that good, that. Yeah, like but my, then these are better. I think my least favorite is glass five, and you really liked that one. It's not a knock on that glass because literally that would probably smash ninety percent or more. Your of least the, favorite was five. Yeah, my least. And favorite. what was your favorite? Your favorite was four. four. And your favorite was four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my least that was my was second. Two. Bit. Your two. least favorite was two. My it was two. between two and five for me for the bottom. But so, those two bottles, I would still call like phenomenal pours. Yeah, like, like we're not saying, you know, last place sucks, but last place is. So I'm almost amazing. saying maybe four, five, one, three, and two. We're pretty close. I feel like you guys are more closer together than me. We're. I have them swapped. I have five first, four second, um, first, third, two. So which was your favorite? Fifth. 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 Fifth was your favorite. Okay. I just, for me, five, the finish was just, was bad. It has a really good finish. Five is great. This is what and what are you, what are you saying five is? I, I don't know what five is. I, I, I know I'm saying like, what do you rank? What's your rank? Oh, yeah. second. Second. Oh, you had and what's your second. first? First is the four. happy. Four. Four. Yeah, I think four is a happy too. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. I think there's a really good chance the one I put in last place is the freaking WLW, because I think that's William Luter Weller. I didn't know if you put that in there, but I think, I, I don't know. I just, I'm really jiving with these three right now. That's yeah. why I put them Tasting up, this but. and then going to this, and now I taste weeded. This weeded? Damn it. Normally, I go for the... Freaking WLW is the best. I one. think this is dope. All right. Okay, I'm going ask. bottle guesses now. WLW, Pappy, 15 year Pappy, my blend. I ruined that it's a blend, but yes, oh well. Uh, my 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 bottle. Um, 
the number two is really soft. I don't know what two is, but I think that this might be a Russell's private selection. I don't even know if you have one of those, but I think that might be a Russell's private selection. Um, and good call with if if it is because it shares some of those similar flavors. Well, let's. I think we that. should figure out what what's what. So our first glass was A4. Okay. A4 was Four Roses Limited Edition 2019. Oh. 112.6 proof. Okay, mm. so that really gets... That really makes sense now. That oh, really makes sense now. But I get cherry off of Four Roses. I get a Well, you and do, but with Four Roses is notorious for that apricot, apricot? flavor. Yeah. 2000, 2019 was special, though, because it had some really old stuff. I think it had some 19-year-old... Uh, Juice in there. Man, um, now I feel like an idiot for not it picking that one. Special, special, <laughs> it had some special sauce. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is. That's and good. I got this as my number, as my third. You got that, that was my, I think that was my number two. I think that was my That number was your two? Yeah. Wow, and so that was my third. Yep, that was my third place. This is okay. really damn good though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very, so, very good. Again, there's some old you. stuff in there. Yeah. So then the second glass was a three. A3 is Happy 15. Shut what? up. What? Number two? A3, you said A3? Yeah. A3 is Happy 15. Are you sure? <laughs> A3. A3. I don't even taste any you of the didn't normal. Mix them up wrong, did you? No. Number two? I know I didn't. I know I didn't mix them up. That makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> we beat the Pappy! <laughs> yes. In fact, my blend beat the Pappy for all three of us, right? No, not mine. Oh, no. Huh? Not mine. It's yours. Was number four yours? I'm pretty sure I'm his. Good. His was my three. Yeah. So this blend was... Um, so the three, three was your blend? Yeah. So it didn't beat good for me. It's two parts... Um, it's two parts FAEO1 to one part... Um, uh, Larceny Barrel Proof A122. I picked that one because of the higher proof. And then I put it in a small mason jar with one of those spires. What spire? Uh, so it's like a four, level four jar spire, uh, American oak. And uh, yeah, it's, it's dark, like in color. I, I, I was tasting it every day to make sure it didn't get over oak. It has that maker's charm. Um, That's gonna look like my piss. It's it's like it's dark, but yeah. So I um I was tasting it every day to make sure it didn't get over oaked. And there was a day where I tasted it where I was like, I think I made something really really good here. Dude, and I pulled that spire out. And put you it could in. bottle that, dude. I mean that's. that's I mean that it was, stood it, here with it just stood out to me. It did. so much different than the other because it was just it was so good. sweet. And that makes that fact that pops out. Yeah, and I have tried several different blends with doing yeah. some of the wood finishing series yeah. with with some of the larcenies because yep. that's how you make Prude and Pappy is larceny and makers. But okay. all right, what do we got yeah, next? Okay. Okay. So <laughs> a a two. This was my favorite. So this was your favorite. A two was my favorite too. Damn it! it and this, so was this came, was this came in this, was, this came in second for me. Okay. This was so this is the winner basically. Number, number four by five. by by averaging it out. This is the winner. Four and five were my close first. But like, yeah. I was close to you. I, I put them, you know, we, because you guys had, okay. I'm really curious what this is. Me too. A2, WLW. One, what? three, four, point five. What three. did I tell you? You told me. What did I tell you? You said. 134.5. Uh-huh. It's a high From what year? I don't have the year on here. I think it was from 2019. You have to look. You can look up the years. I'll look up the proof um, because it's a higher proof one. I, last year's was 126. Man. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't it drink. Did. It didn't drink like it no, drinks no. like it's 107, dude. I yeah, would have sworn that was happy. I've always said this: WLW is the king of bourbon. It is. It beats Pappy. The we just learned this. I was bourbon, literally man. saying before we started this that I wanted to try uh, William Ruweller versus Pappy 15. To find I out what my actual. Them. <laughs> what, what my actual favorite bourbon is, and we know now know that it's William Larue Weller is my favorite bourbon. This I'm is glad uh, we settled that. We settled it. It's settled. I've settled it a long the, time ago. Ultimate settlement. <laughs> well, what, what I thought that I did a uh, you know you gave me the samples and then he gave me samples. Yeah. And when I did a, a George T. Stag versus William Larue Weller, mm -hmm. I thought for sure I was going to pick the Stag. I picked the WLW. So and I mean, this just goes to show I came in completely blind. I didn't know what the hell I was going to walk yeah, in. Yeah, you had no idea what we were drinking. Nothing. Yeah. So you didn't even know we were doing it. 
No, I really thought you did. No. <laughs> All right. That's okay. why I was shocked in the beginning of the video. I was like, That's what? Awesome. what? Mm. Cool. And so the last and final one. Yes, yeah. I want to know what that one is. Which that was last place. For it me. was last place for me, but. And that, that was second for me. And that was first for me. Where's T Tech? Ah, B Tech. I knew it was a B Tech. The, that's the lower proof stack, right? No, oh, that's the 2018 124 point. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. So I had a feeling it was a stag by the nose and wow. the flavor, but I just couldn't pin it. I could not pin it. I didn't know. I well, thought no. I thought this with the last one was really new. Really well, so and I was like is, winking at the screen, like you got it right. Well, right. my goal with the blend that I, I made—it's funny because I didn't know you were going to bring William Rue Weller. I wanted to. My goal like, with the blend yeah. was to make. A prudent William Leroux Weller. Oh, I went with higher proof no. stuff. <laughs> it's 115.3 proof. Like, Literally, these are my favorite bourbons. If I could ever, if I could own bottles, just like an infinite yeah. number amount of bottles, it'd be William these Leroux two Weller along with the East in a barrel proof. Those would be my bottles. I wanted, when I made, when I chose uh, what I wanted to put in this blind, I wanted it to be, because I knew you guys went back and forth and we went back and forth on what's better, William Blue Reller, Dorsey Stag, and I wanted to combine that with, you know, throwing Pappy 15 in there and Good having that call, trying to compete. Dude. And so it was almost like a You're double, a bash, double blind. Yeah, and I, and I threw in the, yeah, the yeah. unintentionally, got, I threw yeah, in my- so uh, we figured out it is better than- WLW could yeah. keep its own with some it of those- It can, uh, it can, because literally I had said, what, this is my number one, this is my number two, I think I bounced back to the, the number one as my number as my third. Dude, I I don't I picked number I picked the fifteen year Pappy as my worst. It was light on the it was light on the time. It was my, we were saying like it was my number four. So it would have been my my my. So blend. I picked I picked three bottles above Pappy fifteen. Your blend beat this for me. I I, I picked it too. Did you? The blend. The blend for what? Well, was over, the blend your least the, favorite? Uh, I put yeah I put the blend. So yeah, at least a bit, but that's okay. Even though I really, hey, I, it. it's not <laughs> a unicorn. That was a bad. Like I don't, yeah. know, I don't even know. I, I went back back and forth with the four roses and the pappy. Apparently, I, I liked the four roses quite so, a bit more almost, than the pappy. I, I did. I did too. I almost put yeah. I, I almost put I, pappy right. in second to last. To be honest with you, and I'm surprised that I did put pappy. That four roses competed like I did at last. Yeah. Like I, I, it took me a lot. It took me a while to figure out like four roses should be in there. Yeah. And I tasted it and I went, you know, I was like, dude, this is such a solid pour. Dude, and I'm it's really glad you, you can put it get in way there. cheaper yeah. than Pappy 15. Yeah. yeah. I wanted something that was achievable, you know, it, it's a hard bottle to get, but you can get them in like lots of lotteries and stuff so, like that. So, yeah. As opposed to Pappy 15. Where Realistically, any of this Four stuff. Roses Limited Edition is actually more expensive than the 15 year Pappy 15. On retail, uh, but. That's true. But retail but doesn't. Yeah, I feel like they're easier to find. Not I still haven't found, them, but, found any of the of the limited edition, but I definitely get the sentiment on that one. They're in Phoenix. So, yeah, everything. Drinking buddies, I this has been this has been straight up a great uh, adventure here. Uh, we I finally feel, beat the pappy. Um, I feel like and, Rocky right now because I freaking knew it. I you, knew it. <laughs> you you called it on. Uh, Actually, I think we were both saying you, you were both saying this was the way. No, no, we didn't say this. I think you well, called out. Well, you said William Lou Weller on almost all of them. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely was <laughs> hammering on that the George T. Stack was William Lou Weller. And oh, the last time we were drinking, the last time we, I did George T. Stag versus William Lou Weller, Weller, I was like, I, I, I flopped them both too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a great time. Really appreciate Brooks coming back and bringing these awesome samples. Uh, Marco, Thank you man, for inviting me to be a part of this group, guys. Yeah, it was fun, man. definitely wanted to have you on here. Um, man, it was such a great time. Thank you, and thank you, Marco. Thank you. Great time. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm the only one. Cheers. I'll you. Cheers, buddies.